Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today we are getting started on a, another project. I kind of, I think I told you guys what we were doing, and that's the kids' bathroom. So we are doing a complete kids' bathroom makeover. If you guys hear anything right now, Fletcher. It's gonna be a challenge, definitely doing this project with this little guy, because usually we can entertain him, but since we're upstairs, he's gonna be upstairs with us. And there's a lot of things for him to get upstairs, or get into upstairs because a lot of things are baby proof up here. So this is definitely going to be an interesting project and probably gonna take longer than expected because that's just how we roll around here. So when I say complete makeover and kind of what our plan is, is we are going to do some painting. So right now, this color that you guys see behind me, we also have some shiplap, but this color right here is called Passive. It's a light gray color uh, by Sherwin-Williams. Actually our whole house. Hold on. Our whole house is in the color passive, except for where we painted it in certain areas of the house. But for the kids' bathroom, I decided I'm going to repaint, actually except for one wall, we're gonna be doing some wallpaper in here, but repaint the whole bathroom white. So a satin finish, also so it's easy to clean because the kids, I don't know what the kids get on this wall. They get toothpaste, soap, shampoo. There's just random stuff all in this bathroom, so the finish that we have and throughout the whole house is flat so it's terrible to clean it's so so terrible so i suggest if you have kids do not get a flat paint get satin or eggshell or something like that so as you guys can see and i told you we're doing some shiplap in here as well we're making our own shiplap i'll let frank <laughs> i told you guys it's gonna be a challenge hi good you guys Shoot. Oh. Need your ball Oh, careful. Back to what I was saying. Um, I'll let Frank explain this a little bit more because he's good at, he's the one that did all of this. So he'll explain exactly what kind of wood he used, size, everything. I'll let him do all that. I'm gonna be mainly doing the painting, the wallpaper, the decorating, putting on the finished touches. That's my job. So wallpaper, shiplap, paint, new hardware. So we're getting rid of, actually we have two different colors. Let me show you. We have silver and then we have black if you guys remember we painted these used to be silver same color as this we spray painted it but it started to peel actually let me show you guys right here i also need to give these cabinets as you can see a good clean because is that our washer that's so loud right now i think that is our washer but like i was saying as you can see the kids have definitely done a number on them but you can see right here where oh and that's that's loose, I just noticed that. Um, you can see where it's peeling. So we're gonna take these off. We're gonna put gold hardware on the handles as well as the toilet paper holder and the towel hook. So this is gonna go. So let me show you guys just a little overview first before we get started. Um, I think Frank's gonna put this up first and then I'll do the painting after because this is also going to be white. So here is an overview of the kids' yeah. bathroom. The only thing that we upgraded in this bathroom were the floors. We actually changed the lights last year. These lights are actually, let me see if I can show you guys because the lighting is a little off right now. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but these lights are actually new. We put these up last year. So we'll be leaving those, we won't be changing those. We have a typical mirror, bathroom mirror. This is actually gonna go as well because we're gonna be doing two circle mirrors here and the wallpaper will be going on this wall. Obviously the kids shower, I'm not going to change or do anything here. I was actually thinking about getting a black curtain rod, but even then I'm like, I'm not too worried about it. And we've debated on whether we were gonna change the faucets. I think we should because we're changing the hardware. The only thing is we kind of want to try spray paint. I know, I know, I was saying spray paint, but I've already showed you guys that the handles have been peeling, but I don't know, should we just get new ones or should we try to spray paint it first and if that doesn't work, we'll get new ones regardless. So <laughs> I don't know what to do. So we might keep them, I don't know. All right, so we got our jaggedy cut. <laughs> jaggedy cuts? Jaggedy cut. Boards what makes here. them jaggedy? <sighs> They look all right, but not having a table saw. Oh, I see what you mean. We're going to see how it looks. If it don't look. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, let me excuse get, me, get, me, let me get to here. Um, 
the foreman's here, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but they do look fine, but we're gonna have to just like paint this wall first, and then I think we're gonna paint the edges of yes. these boards and then put them up. That way it's very easily, like, you can put them up, paint them, and you're done. Yeah, because there will be a little bit, little spacing, and you probably couldn't tell unless you're like really looking in there, but we wanna make sure everything is white and the same color. So they actually make actual shiplap boards we found at, well, they do it at Home Depot and Lowe's, but Home Depot we found is the cheapest, but you can make your own for even cheaper. So yes. what's the size, what are the sizes? This, these are, uh, it's a four by eight sheet of like plywood, mm -hmm. and then it's a quarter inch thick, and then I cut them into five inch uh, wide planks. Okay. So hopefully it's gonna match up really well, which it's gonna be straight regardless. Like the top and the bottoms are That's gonna be That's your favorite straight. word, straight. Every time we talk about projects or we're doing a project, sure you always say straight. You guys. Lined up. You gotta make right. sure it's lined up. You gotta right. make sure it's right. You gotta make sure it's right and it's straight because if not it's gonna look like dog crap. Oh wow. Dog dog. Ah, dog. <laughs> But what we're gonna do is Brittany's gonna. <laughs> what we're gonna do, Brittany's gonna. So what Brittany's getting ready to start doing is taking the little things off the wall here, get to painting while right. I try to do. Something. Which I'm just gonna paint this portion down here really quick so he can put this up, and then while he's putting this up, I'll tape off the rest of the bathroom. Yes. Um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and paint the baseboards too because they're pretty nasty looking, and we're just gonna have everything the same color, obviously the same white, and then I just tape off the floor really quickly and start painting. I think I'm actually gonna repurpose this and put this in my closet and it's almost nap time. You know that wall, that kind of that blank wall in my closet yeah. and then hang some of my bags on I here. Think you should. You go down for a nap? I have to take oh. that down. taped off I wanted to show you guys the paint that we are using we're using the interior and exterior high gloss paint by Sherwin Williams this is a smart dry technology so it's ready in just two hours here is the number and it's just called extra white <laughs> so and it's extra expensive these days yes we've discovered that paint is Hard to find. We actually cannot find our paint, or I should say, we can't buy our paint unless we buy it in five gallon buckets. Yeah, they don't it's even. Like dollars. Yes, and they don't even sell it in this size buckets, a gallon bucket. This stuff dries real well. Yeah, stick into there. Yeah. We use this for the shiplap, right above the fireplace. Yeah. That's definitely extra white. Oh, it's gonna be and white. And extra, extra thick. Oh. Oh no, did you wipe it on your booty?
I was starting to, well, I hadn't showed you guys that I had taped off this. Yeah, I think I did. I filmed a little bit. I don't know. I can't remember, but I've started to tape off the rest of the bathroom. Um, actually, I just need to add some tape right there. This is the only wall that I will not paint because that is the wallpaper wall. But I went ahead and taped as much as I could over here and um, I just couldn't reach right here. So I'll have Frank come in and put some tape up there. This paint is dry and done, ready for the shiplap. And then I took off the plates right here so I could paint around here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of this as well. We won't take off the mirror until we're done with the shiplap and painting. And then when we're ready to put up the wallpaper because we'll have to actually take all of this down, even the shower head, the toilet's gonna have to come out and also the curtain. Holder. What is this called? I don't even know what this is called. I'm totally blanking right now. And then I'm gonna start going through and doing my, like, my line work with my paintbrush before I use my roller and paint everything else. Did I finish painting? No, I did yeah. not. But it's time to do some other stuff. Ooh, oh, we just got an order. I might have not have finished painting, but I you did, did half of it. I Half of it, and I painted this wall so at least Frank could do the shiplap. Also, because that paint is fast drying, it started to dry in <laughs> the pan. Fast. So when I would go to roll it, the dried paint was peeling with it and sticking to the paint roll. So I was like, okay, I need to stop. Let's go ahead and do the shiplap. That way when I go to paint this, I'll go ahead and paint the little bit that I have left. I just have this up here, up there. Actually, I need Frank's help with taping off the top. I don't know why the camera's acting so weird right now. Okay, we're trying a different setting now. Oh, now you can see a better look at those lights too. And then this little section right here. I just need help with the painting at the top so I don't get any paint on that. Fair enough. That's all and I need what help I'm with. one is finally, ooh, $50 at Lowe's. Really? $50. So we got our own nail gun now. Whole great, beautiful nail gun that's gonna last forever. Okay, that makes I'm me speaking, so I'm nervous. That, I don't know why, but nail guns make me so well, look, nervous. It, won't, it ain't gonna do nothing unless you press it in. Okay. Then you go, ow. I think the noise is what kind of scares me too. It's really loud. That's for my ears. Her theory is mine too, bud. Are we gonna bother covering up these holes or there's no point, right? <laughs> nice spacer you got there. <laughs> Thank you. What is that? Is that part of your Dremel? It's a piece of my Dremel, yeah. I actually really like these, uh, these nails that I'm using too. Mm -hmm. 
because they're just long enough to go through this and to barely go through the back of the sheetrock. That way I'm not shooting through wires. Oh yeah, oh gosh. Let's not even talk about that, okay? <laughs> So it is day two of this bathroom makeover project and what I'm getting ready to do now is put some wood filler in all of the little nail holes that I put in this wood just to get it to lay flat on the wall because even though like this shiplap, the way like this DIY shiplap, even though it's a lot cheaper, the wood these days, it's all kinds of messed up you guys so what you have to do is you got to make sure that you put enough nails into the wood that way it sits flat on the wall and that's exactly what I did but I want to turn this around and show you guys what it looks like now and then I'm going to wood fill everything and then later on today Brittany's going to finish painting um, she's got a doctor's appointment this morning after that she's going to get back in here and we're going to finish this project hopefully today So now that all the wood filler is now dry, this is actually wood filler that you don't have to sand. At least that's what Frank says. So <laughs> this is it right here. I don't know if Frank showed it or not, but it does say no sand solution for scratches and nail holes and finished wood. So this is what we used in the color white. I don't, I didn't even know they had different colors. Anyways, so now I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I really, really want to get the painting done by tomorrow morning. We actually ran out of tape and I don't want to risk doing this by hand. So I'm going to have to wait until Frank gets some tape tomorrow, but I really want to get started working on the wallpaper. I think I've decided that I'm going to split this makeover into two parts just because the painting has taken a long time. This has taken a long time. I mean, I should say a long time. Collectively, I know it's gonna be a really long video if I put it all in one. So I'm probably gonna save the wallpaper for part two. You guys should know us by now. We play everything by ear. Even if we say we're gonna do something, we always end up changing our mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and paint the shiplap and see how it turns out. I could not reach. He said, get up there and start painting. Oh, except you brought the ladder. I could have done it if you had brought the ladder a long time ago. The ladder's been in here. No. Peaches, I brought it up this morning. Yeah, this morning. But not the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You need, to, you need to get up there and paint too. I'll tell you guys right now, this took two, well, the parts that are finished took two coats and that's going to take two coats 
up there. And then the shiplap took three coats. I have done a ton, a ton painting. of painting. You're over painting, babe? I'm done with the painting. I'm over it at this point. I like painting, but- I'm not a, I'm not a painter. I like to paint, but just not that See, that's much. why we're a dynamic duo. You like to paint and I like to do stuff. Yes. But I do see some places that I'll have to go and like touch up. Like around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to yesterday. All right, you guys. So now that we got the shiplap up, painted, the wall is painted. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to take this as my top piece, this little one by two, and run it the full span. and run it the full span of the wall right here. Probably about four inches high. That way it leaves a good gap right here. That way you have a little bit of contrast. That way we can hang the kids' towels and everything up on their hooks. Alright, so now that I've got our piece up, what I did was took my Craig jig, which it was a little bit too big. So I hand drilled these uh, pilot holes in the bottom of the wood here to attach it to the wall. And I think it worked very well because that's not going anywhere and it's perfectly straight and it is nice and level. So what I got to do now to finish this project up, or at least finish this part of the project up, is take some wood filler and fill in the holes on the other knee side of this wood. That way you don't see it. And the little gap from the small piece of wood that I had to put up here, because the one piece that I had wasn't long enough to do the entire span of the wall, so I had him add a little extra piece right here. So I'm gonna wood fill that and then show you guys the finished result once it's painted. So we got a lot of things done and accomplished yesterday. We got the top piece secured to the wall. So I wood filled and sanded where these two pieces come together. And once I sand it one more time, you won't be able to tell that this wasn't one solid piece. But I'm getting ready to start working on taking this mirror out. What I think has to happen is I have to just slide it all the way out because these hooks you can't get behind the hooks. Like there's no way to just pop it off and it doesn't just raise up. So I think I'm gonna have to slide it all the way out and then try to take it that way. So like I said, I don't even know if this is gonna work out. Shit boys, we got it. I just wanna say how completely wrong I was. I thought you had to literally slide it. All you had to do was push up on this and it come right out. I think it actually worked that I pushed it all the way towards the edge of the shower that we only had one clip and I had a place to actually pick up the mirror so it worked out really well. What I'm gonna start working on now is getting this wall prepped. There was a nail here, nail holes, but obviously there's a few screw pops that I have to fix as well. I think this is where we are gonna wrap it up for part room, part room, <laughs> part one of the kids bathroom makeover. I think Frank already showed you guys and filmed him taking down the mirror. He is now patching all of the holes. I think it is safe to say now we are officially done with all the painting. Thank you. I feel like the painting took way longer than we both thought, but I don't know, I kind of see some spots now at the top 
where we might have to go in and just do a few touch-ups. So that kind of sucks. But we want to make sure everything looks good. So like I said, this is part one. We got the shiplap done. And part two will be the wallpaper, doing all the finished detailing and final touches and decorating. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one and I hope you guys are getting excited because I think the wallpaper is going to be the best part. So you guys stay tuned for part two and we will see you in our next video. Bye.